Hello everybody, welcome to a Rowan Review, my name is Thomas, today I'm going to be speaking about a fragrance which I found, it was uh, in 2020, the fragrance itself is called, it wasn't 2020, it was 2021, it was last year, and the fragrance is called Hermit's Court, Court, as in, put a coat on, uh, it's by Chapel Factory, yeah, it's 2021 release. It wasn't 2020. I thought it was on. I thought it was in the year the lock, lock, the lock, the lockdown year, but it wasn't. It was the. It was the year after that. Like so. Yeah, this is a pretty. Uh, this is a pretty special fragrance. The 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 Chapel Factory themselves have got about. They've got. Uh, I think about five or six different fragrances, and they do a line of, uh, kind of incensey, uh, fragrances. Uh, what what the what the flipping heck are they called? Uh, yeah, holy stick, heresy, baptisma, you know, so you, you kind of get the idea, and they're all very much based off uh, incense and uh, smelling like a kind of a church kind of thing, kind of going on here. Uh, Hermit Court is kind of, I would, I would say it's different. It's different from the other lines that they do have. And they've got one called Pura or something like that as well, which is a bit more of a freshy. But anyway, we'll talk about this one. Uh, this one is, it's like he, I think, right, I'll do a rundown of the notes. Heliotrope Ash and Elemi, which is on the top. And then uh, Olibanum, Balsam Fir and Rose in the middle. And then on the base, it's Embrox and Smoke Musk and amber this is like it's like nothing i've ever smelled like fragrance wise i mean there there has been some pretty weird fragrances which i have got my nose on uh and sometimes it weird in maybe not a good way i, I don't want to smell like that fragrance but uh this has me it has a uh, yeah, it has is very very intrigued. I got a, I got a ten mil from Bloom, and it's got as intrigued. It's got as intrigued because I've used probably about uh, maybe maybe like <coughs> excuse me, uh, about half half the ten mil or thereabouts anyway. It's not not getting off too far, like but it's got as very intrigued. I am intrigued by this fragrance. When I first put it on, I was like, "What on what on earth is this?" It's not like the others because I got ten mils of the other ones as well, like the Holy Stick and uh, the Baptisma and stuff like that, and they're, they're just very straight up, incensey based fragrances. So if you've got any kind of churchy kind of vibe, kind of uh, you know, that, along those lines, incensey stuff, then they're all pretty much follow formula. But this doesn't do that. This has. Uh, this has something uh, a little bit different going on with it. It's got a, a, like a kind of a, a, a kind of a fresh herbalist kind of smell, along with the this like ashy kind of resin sort of smell. But it's very, it's got a, like a kind of a, a, a like a little tough sweetness in it, and the tough sweetness is what makes it. Uh, I think it's the heliotrope which gives it this little kind of. Oh, I don't know. They like lift. It's like very, and it does when you when you do smell it. I mean, straight away with it being called Hermit Court, I was like kind of is envisaging this kind of, you know, this guy with it, uh, a silver beer pipe, you know, with a, with a green hat, and there uh, he just comes out of his little kind of hobbit hole, you know, and, and, and this is lovely and inside. It's got like stuff cooking and. Uh, Mm. And the pot's boiling, and then there's like alchemy going on, and all that kind of stuff. And like, uh, so that's the kind of when when I did smell it, and I and I had got that hermit coat, and I was like, that's the smell of his coat. And he's like a, this old guy who's like you know 130 years old, and uh, he's into alchemy, and uh, it's it's really, it's really quite it's really quite a it's really quite a special little fragrance for me. I, I really do, yeah, I really do enjoy it. It's uh, something which is, 
which has just got something about it uh, and that's what i like about fragrances like this which have which have just totally set itself apart from from anything you know uh, anything i've ever smelled before and it's certainly not an incense i don't just get incense from it which is which is good because an incense fragrance is you know an incense yeah, I, I, like, I do like them but uh this has something extra in it and i think it's really really good i do really like it so yeah, so you can get little samples and stuff as well. I think I think Jovoy do samples. I'll if I can find the links, I'll put them in the thing below. You can get like two mil samples, and you can get I think a three mil sample. Don't quote us on that from uh, from Bloom, and these are in the UK. So Jovoy UK, I think you can get a sample of that. And the bot the bottles themselves are around eighty ninety pound for a hundred mil, which is pretty decent because it's really nice quality. Yeah, lovely little bottles as well like so yeah it's worth checking out if you want something totally like totally different if you want to smell like a kind of a wizard sleeve <laughs> then uh, this is something which you which you could uh you could check out yeah all right that's a uh, hermit's court from Ch chapel factory thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one